everyone, Sierra Games here, and today we are going to be playing and possibly finishing The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. So, we have played a lot of this game, five and a half hours, all yesterday. So, since then, I've had time to think about it, and we're already kind of on the preset path where we've decided that, yes, these people do have powers, that we do believe them, and we do want to encourage them. Um, with these powers, which I feel like might lead to our eventual death, like Dr. Decker, because I feel like we're becoming more like him as opposed to not being like him at all. So that's slightly concerning, but I'm already on this path, so I'm just gonna... We're just gonna keep on rolling with it. Um, this sound is a little bit annoying, so let's just press Midnight continue right away. Day. On Valentine's night, time as you know it freezes. It's like a little review of what 10. happened before. Keep up, doctor. Thinks we're gonna smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, doctor. I was at home. David is my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death when I'm dancing. You get this day over and David hunts. I can change my skin. But there's someone else in my hour. I brought David back to life. I removed the chains. Dressed her. Okay, I clicked a couple of times and she's showing us the Would little, you like to like, see um, David, Doctor? <gasps> the, Sorry. We both read the, the cult of the kinetic between. mind. And that broke. It's no coincidence that most psychokinetic patients are grateful if you could see your way to declaring me insane, or at least temporarily insane. There was no flame. And then there was. I'll kiss a guy. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. And then he just follows me. Can we maybe not talk about Hannah anymore? Wherever I go. He may just still pull out in front of the driver. All right, we are back in it now. Glenn, we helped him a lot. He opens doors and then it ends up being like doors to different places. And I told him he needs to forgive himself for his dad's death. And he said he was going to come back. So that's nice. Um, let's talk to Claire. What has David been doing? David has been hunting and skinning again. But from the look of the torso, he caught a domestic cat. I'm being generous. It was definitely a cat. I spoke to David about it, but I have no idea if he can comprehend me or not. He just grunts at me. He doesn't even smile anymore. Not at all. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, sorry. Uh, I left out an important detail. Kills the girl, cats. Anushka. She was crying because her cat had gone missing, and she thinks that David killed it. Doctor... I'm worried. Nushka. I spoke to her again. She wouldn't tell me her name, which is quite right. I am a stranger after all. So I gave her the name Anushka. She said the man that lives in the lake house is weird and creepy. I don't I don't blame her. She caught he caught her cat and killed her? Or killed the cat? Hmm. I'm worried that David's not going to stop at cats. He's killed Deer, rabbits, wild birds, and now cats. Oh, hey, Kaiden! <laughs> Jaya. Yeah, I don't want her to pop up again. Literally. Really. To his list. So you think he's going stop to stop? He's going to start killing people. Great. That's nice. Why can't you stop him? I can't him? stop him. I can't control him in any way at all. Ever since I brought him back from the dead, he has done nothing but ignore me. I'm starting to think that. Trying to think what? That I need to put David out of his misery. And kill him for real again. That I need again. to end his suffering. That I need to kill him. Again. So you do admit that what you killed do, him doctor? the first time. Should I kill David? Oh, oh, should she kill David? David is alive again. But he won't talk to her, and he's just killing things and hunting. Um, should you kill David? Hmm. No, no notes in particular. Hmm. 
I'm gonna skip over it for now. We're gonna talk to her and ask the other questions first before I decide if she should re-kill David or not. Uh, have you ever taken tamazepam? I've never used sleeping pills. I'm too afraid of what would happen to me in my sleep. Oh no, you had nightmares because of this? I'm so sorry. I didn't have any dreams last night, which was good. <laughs> was Decker an alcoholic? If Dr. Decker was an alcoholic, he hid it well. I never saw him drink. He certainly never offered me a drink. God knows I could have used one. Why is there no like today? David hasn't been well. Otherwise, I'd taken you. Shall I bring him to you next time? Yes, bring David to me next time, or no, don't bring David to me. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe yes, and then no, don't kill David? He killed, like, the girl's cat, though. That's a little messed up. But I, I haven't even met David. I feel like I should see if he responds to me, because it seems like he's only been talking to her, like his, his previous wife. So maybe it's a thing where he can't speak to her for whatever reason, because she reanimated him, but he can't talk to other people. That's why Dr. Decker was so, like, freaked out after she left him alone with the guy. Yeah. Yeah, don't kill him yet. I, 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 I agree with that. Um, no, don't kill David. Very well. Yeah. I will do as you say. I suppose I can let this go on now that someone else knows about it. The responsibility of having David is too much for me on my Oh, own. yeah, don't worry. I, I got the responsibility. Doctor. I'm, like, too afraid to look at the screen because I'm afraid there's going to be another pop-up. Um, it doesn't seem like there's going to be, though. Okay, and then bring David to me next time. Next time, then. Although it will have to be just you here and late at night. Oh, great. I can't have anyone else see you. Oh, I didn't know that was the requirements. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it going to be tonight? Oh, I can't handle meeting people <laughs> at night. Oh, geez. Great. All right. Just great. Also, I just realized that she has, like, really long stockings on and, like, her just her toes are poking out. Is that, like, a thing or did she break the stockings? Okay. Uh, have you talked to Bryce or Iris? Late, not z late night zombie David. Yep. Isn't in Pl Plants vs. Zombies the guy named David as well, the crazy neighbor? Um, no, Crazy Dave is his name in Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, have you talked to Bryce or Iris? I never talked to Bryce, but I did talk to Iris. I told her who saved her and that it was a patient here. She broke down on the phone most unbecoming. Oh, wait, you told her? I wonder what oh, kind of gift basket he'll get. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta ask about Iris, then. Your questions seem to be getting... Oh. Claire told Iris that Bryce saved her. Very interesting. Uh, did you remember the photo? Oh, yes, here. Oh, gosh. From a few weeks ago. As you can see, Doctor... He looks perfectly normal. Great. Is he gonna, not gonna look normal? Oh. From a few weeks ago? Oh. Okay. I mean, he looks like a, a person. <laughs> oh, Plants vs. Zombies is a really good game. I highly recommend it. It's like a... Uh, compared it to like a tower defense game. If you enjoy tower defense games like at all, then you definitely would enjoy Plants vs. Zombies. Um, did Dr. Decker offer any theories about David? Dr. Decker was very quiet in our sessions after seeing David. Oh, after yeah. a while, he started Freaked talking out. about David like he was a pet, asking me what I fed him, what he'd do in certain conditions. Weird, weird. Why was Dr. Decker talking about David as if he was a pet? I think he was fascinated with it all, and David and I had become new test subjects for him. When I said David never listens to me, he urged me to start giving David treats for pleasing me. Not in that way, but showing him how to close a door, for example. If he did it, give him a treat. I mean, it sounds it like he's pretty... It did actually work, but yeah. I had to stop myself. I felt like I was training a monkey. It just wasn't right. It just sounds like he's not all the way there. So maybe Dr. Decker's idea was 
a good one. If she does want to keep him alive, she's got to make sure he doesn't, like, go out and randomly kill kill people, right? Um, what sort of conditions uh, was Dr. Decker interested in? Dr. Decker asked me if I'd ever accidentally locked David in, which I hadn't. But curiosity got the better of me. Oh, gosh. So I locked him in the lake house. He couldn't get out. He didn't have the wherewithal to operate the lock. Hmm. I can stop you reanimating people. Um, what would she That's say? That's an that? interesting idea, Doctor. There's not really something that needs to be done, though. She's not I have no intention everything. of reanimating anybody anymore. Yeah. It hasn't gone very well in the past. Tell me about your referral. My solicitors did refer me, but I ended up going privately as it was cheaper. I'm paying them enough already without them getting a percentage of my therapy bill. Hmm. I don't know. I need to do something about David. Oh. It's just too much. How can I stop thinking about what I've done? Tell me, how should I distract myself, Doctor? Um, how can you distract yourself? You go on a vacation, but I don't think you should leave, David. Um, um, you can get a new hobby. I have a hobby. I come <laughs> here every week and talk to you. Come on, come on, lady. Work with me here. Like, no, like a real hobby. <laughs> a, a real hobby. Dang it. Um, what else can she do? Apparently, this is her hobby. Uh, you can get a job. A job? Yes. Yeah. I'll find myself a nice little job packing bags <laughs> in a grocery store. All right, I get it. You don't want to solicitors. travel. I'll put on the uniform and smile at the customers and talk about the weather and everything will be wonderful and sunny and bright. Next. Oh my gosh. You want something to distract yourself, but you refuse to get a hobby or a job. It sounds like you want me to tell you that you should go on a really nice vacation, but you shouldn't leave David. Um, I don't know. What else can you do to distract yourself? Um, you can... You can, um, date. I don't know if I want her to date. But, okay, yeah, let's see what she says. I don't want anybody else. Yeah, I figured she would. I reanimated my cheating husband so we could be together. <laughs> Isn't that a big enough sign? Okay, you can date. Like, what would she say if she if I told her to go on a vacation? I don't know. Oh, she doesn't understand it? Are you even listening to me? Okay. Um, you can... So we said you can get a new hobby, you can get a job, you can date. She doesn't like any of those. Uh, you can... Train David? I don't know, man. David doesn't listen to me. I can't say something and he does it. And besides, how would I show him not to kill a little girl? Slap him on the nose? It's too late for David. Okay, I guess that's, that's everything for Claire. You found everything. All right. Okay, let's go to... Who should we go to next? Mariana. We didn't ask her all the questions. Let's get a little bit of a hint. Oh, it appeared and then went away. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to her later. Uh, how about... Bryce, let's see how he's doing today. I'm fine. I'm worried. Oh, yeah. My pursuer in the hour. He's definitely military. I've developed a new skill to deal with him. Oh. How do you know he is military? My pursuer. He's measured in his approach. Watching, testing. Hmm. When he finally came for me, I wasn't ready. I think he underestimated me, though. And that allowed me to escape. 
He didn't think I'd be able to just leave. Wait. Why do you think he's coming after me, Doctor? Oh, uh, I think I might know. He came after you, question mark? I don't know anything about that. Oh, I'm sure. Um, what new skill... Uh, what new skill have you developed? It's more of an old skill I'm bringing back to life. A while ago, when I was feeling pretty low, I teleported into this office to get some antidepressants. But last night, my pursuer approached me. You can teleport? Drawing him? something from his jacket. I had nowhere to go. I remembered I could teleport. So I did. Back home. You just remembered? I was as surprised as you are. <laughs> I just imagined I was somewhere else, and there I was. Perhaps Dr. Decker was right. Think of something, and it becomes real. If you believe in it. But I'll only do it wisely. Imagine the mistakes you might make. Don't want to become one with the igneous layer too soon. Um, do you know anything about sleeping pills? I don't pills? know anything about sleeping pills. Why would I want any? I want to stay awake for my extra hour, not sleep through it. Have you seen Jessica? I saw yet? Jessica across the street this morning. She waved, but I just crumbled. Ever since I took those photos, I haven't been able to face her. Do you think I should tell her about the photos, Doctor? Um... No. Should should he I mean it might make him feel better, right? Yeah, actually maybe you should tell her. Ugh. No burn them, yeah. I mean it might make him feel better for his conscience if he did tell her. But obviously, if you tell somebody something like that, they'll go to the police. So no, I don't know. But it would make him, you know, clear conscious and whatnot. Hmm. But then that ruins a chance of her being with him. Him being with her, but, you know, he doesn't really deserve that anyways. So he's going to have to move on from Jessica after he tells her about the photos. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you're right. I should tell her what I've done. Or at least let her have the photos. Yeah, I mean... I don't think she's going to be very pleased. Yeah, she's going to be pissed. But I should be honest. <laughs> Clear your conscience, man. Um, yeah, how's work? Work is fine. If anything, I've been falling behind again. I think it's the stress of not being alone in the midnight hour anymore. Hmm. What have you been doing in the I stole hour? a painting. There, I've said it. It was from the local gallery, Providence. I really like it, but I can't afford it. So I took it. It's just that one thing, just the painting I've stolen recently. I think my new pursuer is unraveling me. Is it okay to steal things, Doctor? If I really like them? Um, no. No, it's not okay to steal things. I will do my best to refrain from it, but I can't promise anything. Can I tell him to return the painting? It's a painting of a spider in a large web on the pendulum of a grandfather clock that's stuck at quarter past three. Um, why do you like the painting? Hmm. Okay. I was gonna ask him like why what what it is about that painting, but you know, the clock being stuck kinda does remind him of the midnight hour probably. Uh did you ever see Decker drink? I alcohol? remember Dr. Decker would take a sneaky dram from a bottle he keeps in his desk. He probably thought I was too busy rambling to notice. But I'm a very astute rambler. Whoa! Why do you think your pursuer is coming after you? I think he's death, Doctor. 
I think I saved that old woman from burning to death in bed, and now he's coming after me to even the score. Do you think it could be death? Wait, hold on. Let me I think see he's this. death, Doctor. You think he's... I thought you said he was I military. I think I saved that old woman from burning to death in bed, and now he's coming after me to even the score. Do you think it could be death? Hmm. Death. <laughs> I like I like this guy. I like his actor at least. It's very well done. Um, do I think death is coming after him? No, I guess not. But like no, I don't think It's just so. me. I'm going crazy. I'm so strange. Everything about me is strange already, but to have another presence in my hour, it's unhinged me. Yeah, it sucks. Um, you should get antidepressants yes, from the office? Yes, you're right. Sorry, I, I did come to the office once for an unscheduled visit. I forgot about that. I wrote a prescription out for myself and got it made up. Dr. Decker didn't have to know. Can you demonstrate how you tell These sessions cost a lot of money, Doctor. <laughs> I'm not just going to leave in the middle of one. But I can see you don't believe me. Do you really want me to teleport, Doctor? Um... I'll ask him to teleport in a second. Uh, didn't you say it before you took sleeping pills? Did I say that? Did I really? Well, I can't really remember saying anything like that. I didn't take the doctor's tamazepam. I took the ones that Dr. Decker prescribed me. My head's in a strange place at the moment. I, it's difficult to remember everything. You said before you feel like you're unraveling. No, no, I'm not becoming him. I'm not becoming Decker. Hmm. No, don't know. Is this a photo of David Castleford? Yes, that's David Castleford. I have no idea when it was taken. Shocking composition. <laughs> Because uh, he's a photographer mm. himself. Okay. Um, what if I told you I could stop your cursor? Tell me about your referral. I was one of Dr. Decker's first patients. I wasn't referred by anyone. My GP recommended I saw someone privately. I think he was just sick of listening to me complain about how little time I had during our 10 minute slot. No, Doctor. No, you can't. I've seen what you can do. You can listen and ask, but you don't have any real power. Yes, I want you to help teleport, or no, I don't want you to teleport. I kind of want to see it. Blink, and you'll miss it. Told you. Huh. Well, you're still in my office, so clearly it didn't work. Providence is the name of the local gallery here. Oh, okay. Always lots of new art and artists, if you only visit once a year. Like I do, anyway. Okay. Um, let's talk to... Mariana. Oh, we don't have a hint. Okay. Um... Bryce, let's just talk to Jaya for a little bit. How are you today? I don't want to talk about grief today. I'm getting enough grief from work. Why is work giving you grief? I don't know if you know, but Professor Alderby used to be my professor. He teaches history and psychology, amongst other things. I know it's not technically work, but he asked if I would allow him to have the video footage of his sessions with Dr. Decker. Dr. Decker wanted to be removed from all of the videos, so it's jump cut up to jump cut, but I'm sure you've already noticed that. 
Yeah. So he's not in any of the videos upon his own request. Oh yeah, that one lady whose paintings... Oh, she works at the Providence, huh? Who, who was that again? She burned... Yeah, I'm remembering something like that. Whose paintings move. Oh yeah, she was just a temporary client. I don't have... Yeah, I don't have her as a as a client though. She only stops by every so often. If she comes by again, we're definitely gonna have to ask her about it. I didn't think you'd mind, since it wasn't your case anyway. Mostly it's the professor talking about how he viewed reality back then, in so much as he thought it was changeable. There's nothing else to do but watch while things are encoding. How is reality changeable? Remember, Cult of the Kinetic Mind? Professor Alderby said it was recommended reading to help psychiatrists in their frontline battle with insanity, he likes to call it. Professor Alderby saw the relationship between psychiatrist and patient as a winnable battle. The patient must be cured by removing their psychokinetic ability, if present, either by telling them it doesn't exist or by using another psychokinetic ability to negate it. It's a long hmm. time ago, I can't remember all of it. There was a specific example. Specific example? If someone tells you they can fly, you tell them you control air currents and that from now on they won't be allowed to use them. This would normally stimulate the brain in such a way that the patient stopped thinking they could fly main danger as the therapist is believing that you can control air currents i mean that would also be like a um a motivation for murder right so if a patient really thinks they can do something and then you say you're the opposite then killing you would you know allow them to keep doing um you know what they like to do um here we go yeah does psychokinesis really pose any danger to therapists. The danger of pretending you have psychokinetic abilities yeah. is that you may start believing you have them and then have them. It's the paradox of the cure. Dr. Decker loved paradoxes. His favorite was the grandfather paradox. Oh, not exactly what I was thinking, but what is the grandfather paradox? If you can travel back in time and kill your grandfather, then you cannot be born. But if you cannot be born, then you cannot kill your grandfather. It's a time traveler's chicken and egg, if you will. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds very likely from Decker's point that he was trying, but it also sounds like he's the one who told them to have these powers. It sounds like Dr. Decker was making like some sort of cult about maybe having to do with Cthulhu in some way, but it seems like all these patients didn't have these symptoms before they started coming to him. For mo most cases, it seems like the patients got their psychokinetic abilities when Dr. Decker really told them to think about it or try to, you know, develop a answer to their problem. Something like a superpower or whatnot. A lot of these patients, you know, after talking to Decker, had different problems than when they walked in. So I don't know if his murder could be motivated by him canceling out their abilities because it sounds like he was trying to do the opposite from what I've gathered. It sounds like he was trying to make these people think that they had powers for whatever reason, maybe to help him do something. Hmm. But maybe it like got out of hand or something. It could. He could always change his mind too, right? So he told these people that they have superpowers and then maybe if it got out of hand, he could try to, like, reel them back in. And then the people would just be like, no, you gave me this curse or blessing, whatever you want to call it. So I have I have it now and I don't want to get rid of it. So maybe in that case, it could still be a motive, you know, in a very roundabout way. Um, it, it could still be a motive because it sounds like his personality did change in the course of him dealing with his patients. So maybe he realized it was getting out of hand. Um, anyways, do you take sleeping tablets? I don't take sleeping tablets. Never have. I'm not allowed to prescribe either. Dr. Decker had me try to forge his signature once, but I was woeful. What, to check if you're going to forge his signature ever? 
why would he ask you to forge his signature? She probably won't speculate. Dr. Decker oh. wanted me to try and forge his signature Aha, to make sure I, knew it. I couldn't. <laughs> me and Decker are on the same wavelength. <laughs> Which is bad, because he died. Why is she throwing darts at me? Excuse me? Darts? You're getting closer all- <laughs> Okay. Anyways, uh, the toxic toxicology report mentioned that. Some people would say Dr. Decker had a bit of a drinking problem. It got worse, and then it got better when his confidence turned up. I think it was the stress of dealing with the new patients. I like the odd tipple. There's a lot of stress in here. We're dealing with people's lives. How do you relax, Doctor? I play video games. <laughs> no video footage, oh. Uh, Jaya asks how I can relax. I relax with food. Maybe alcohol also relaxes me. What else? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna say alcohol. Uh, cause that's not true. I relax with food. <laughs> that's a little true. I might eat a little bit of ice cream when I'm stressed. Um, I don't know. I relax with sleep. I gain lots of sleep. I could tell you, but then I'd have... Oh, I guess that's not going to be an answer. Um, I relax with... I guess I'll say food. I love food. Yeah. It will be my downfall. <laughs> Stress eating is the worst. Yes. Relatable. Okay. Wait, can I talk more about stress eating? Oh, okay. Um, there's something else I need to get out of her. Oh, what's an odd tipple? I've been known to drink, not as much at the moment, not as much as Dr. Decker did. He kept at least one bottle in his desk drawer at all times. Mm, you can't imagine what, the amount uh... of times I wanted to sneak in and have some. <laughs> yeah, that's what Bryce told us. Could someone have spiked Dr. Decker's I bottle? suppose it's possible that somebody spiked his drink. Most people probably knew he had a bottle in his desk. Wouldn't have been that hard to empty out some capsules into it. Maybe the police should get fingerprints? Yeah, I mean, you might as well. Test for fingerprints. Did I eat ice cream last night? I did, but I didn't think it was because of, uh... <laughs> Stress. I just wanted ice cream. <laughs> I had one of those little cookie sandwiches. I love those. I tried the... Totally off, off topic. I tried the Klondike ones, and it was, like, not good. The cookie was good, but, like, the ice cream in the middle of the cookie tasted like whipped cream. It was really weird. Like, it wasn't, like, bad. Like, I couldn't eat it. I, I still ate the cookies. But it wasn't like the best cookie sandwich I ever had. The Klondike ones, like the, they whip the ice cream too much or something's going on with the ice cream because it's way too soft. It's weird. Um, Jaya said Dr. Decker kept a bottle in his desk drawer. Could someone have spiked it? Yeah, test for a fingerprint. I'll go and suggest it. Make sure nobody touches the bottle in the meantime. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Uh, why did Decker, Dr. Decker want to be removed from the videos? Did Dr. Decker having psychokinetic abilities... How well do you know Alderby? Uh, did Dr. Decker ever say anything about his mom? Uh, I'm curious to say, if, did De Dr. Decker say he had any psychokinetic abilities? Dr. Decker definitely dabbled in that stuff. I'm not sure to what extent. <sighs> that doesn't help me. Okay. Why did Dr. Decker I have move no from the idea. Maybe he was an undercover secret agent? Oh, yeah. Secret Maybe agent. Maybe he was getting more annoying as time progressed. You're not, though. You're lovely. Is this a good time to ask for a raise? <laughs> Jaya's the best. She's so funny. A raise? Wow. I was kidding, but thank you, Doctor. I'll take that oh, as a Oh, yes. no. I just no asked worry. a question. Sort it all out. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> okay, how old do you know Professor Alderby? I like Alderby. Professor Alderby. He turned me on to that book I've been raving about. The cult of the kinetic mind. I should start selling them myself. Cult of a kinetic mind. No. Hmm. Did Dr. Decker ever say anything about his mom? Dr. Decker told me he was adopted. 
You visited His birth her mother once. only turned up or five years ago once. because she wanted money for her experimental cancer treatment. Um, I'm not sure how much it cost or even if he had the money, but he didn't do it. And she became one mean mother. Oh, I see. Did you visit Decker's mother? Interest. Visit mom. I don't know, Doc. Man, I know you did because somebody else told me that you did, but she just doesn't want to talk about it. Okay, uh, I relax playing games. I love video games. I just wish they'd make ones with stronger female protagonists. <laughs> Sorry, I'd settle for any female protagonists. <laughs> That's awesome. Listening I bet you music. like dance music. I don't know why. I relax playing sport. Mariana thought I played hockey. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I could tell you. Okay. Anything else about Mariana? No. I don't. Oh, visiting Sarah. Sorry. You're getting closer. Oh my gosh. Try to ask me how I can relax with class. Oh my gosh. Nope. Not saying that. <laughs> no, it's okay. But will she like mention having. Oh, man. I mean, I guess I could say I relax by having sex. Because I just want to get like a response out of her. Maybe she'll tell me something that I don't already know. Like that she was involved with Anderby, or maybe that she actually liked Decker, like some people thought. Sure. Whatever. I have no shame. Tell me something. That option's not always available. Oh, okay. I, I, I get you're single. <laughs> that That's it. Man, I thought you were gonna- I thought I was gonna have some huge revelation from that. Guess not. Um... All right, let's talk to Eileen and see how she is doing. How are you? Hilda died last night. I was there. Well, I was there as her daughter. It was nice. She had a good death. She got to say what she wanted to say. What did Hilda say? Hilda was Hilda to the end. I was the doting daughter. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay. I love you, mum. Then Hilda with almost her last breath, looks me straight in the eye and says, don't let them take Amelia. Um, Amelia? Amelia's Hilda's doll. She used to have about nine or 10 of them, all oh, that's creepy. glassy eyed and creepy looking with frilly dresses and curls. All over her room they were. In the end, we had to get rid of them. They weren't very hygienic. But we let her keep one, and that was Amelia. Interesting. Hmm, can I ask anything else about Amelia? Probably not. Do you have access to sleeping Most pills? Most people have taken sleeping pills at some time or another, haven't they? probably quite easy to get hold of them. Although, I have to get a doctor to sign a prescription if I need any at work. It's probably the same for Jaya. Tell me about Jaya. Jaya seems really nice. I don't know why she'd want to work in a place like this. <laughs> oh, what do you mean like a place like this? I just mean... She likes helping people too. Get all these weird people coming here. I mean... I've met some of them out in the waiting room. I know they're just people, but a couple of them have seriously given me the creeps. Mm. Who gave you the creeps? Sorry, can't. Ellen says some of the other patients gave her the creeps. Maybe we should ask her about each one. Oh, okay. How about Nathan? What do you think about him? I don't know who Nathan is. Okay, how about Mariana? I don't think I know her. Okay, how about... Can I ask her about Doctor, herself? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, Claire? She's a slightly 
older one, isn't she? Always well dressed? Yes, her. I'm pretty good at picking up on people's energy and hers is cold. Actually, I think I sort of know her. Claire Castleford, isn't it? Apparently, she attacked her husband or something. I'm not really helping, am I? Hmm. So she knows that she attacked her husband. Does she know anything else? Do you think I'm a good person, Doctor? Yes, I think you're a good person. I don't know if that's, that's just a random question. I think it is. I hope so. Uh, I'm trying to be. I really am. All right, how about Bryce? Bryce? Mm, I'm not sure who that is. Scarlet. I don't really know anything about Glenn. I don't have anything else to say about that. Hmm. Sorry. I don't know anything. Okay. Uh, did Decker ever drink the alcohol? Dr. Decker drank a bit. I, mean, I didn't say anything about it, but well, it's not very professional, is it? <laughs> no. I mean, it's not like he was drunk. It must be very stressful being a therapist. Do you find it stressful, Doctor? Um, yes, it's stressful, or no, it's not stressful. Um, hmm. I'm gonna say yes. I can tell just by looking at you. This job has really taken its toll on you. I just want to be more relatable. Okay. Um, do you still think about Decker? I think of Dr. Decker every time one of my patients dies. It makes me remember how he didn't care about his mum. He was a good therapist, but he was a lousy son. How is Decker a lousy son? I was son? angry at Dr. Decker. Hilda's daughter, she's in Australia, so fair enough. Maybe she really couldn't get over to see her. But Dr. Decker's mum was dying literally on the other side of town and he just couldn't be bothered. I shifted for her. But in a way, I wish I hadn't, because it let Dr. Decker off the hook, you know? I didn't realize how little he cared until I told him the news. Hmm. Um, let's see, did Decker know you could yes, shift? Yes, I told Dr. Decker. Most other people wouldn't have believed me, but he did. Oh yeah, just a in little fact, stressed. He cared far more about the shifting than he did about his mum dying. More about shifting? Oh, okay. So, like, more about his job than his actual family. Did you ever try shifting yes, for Decker? once. I wanted to show him what I could do so he could see for himself. I took his hand. I told him to think of a loved one. Did it actually work? And then there was nothing. Oh. I mean, literally Nothing, just an empty void. The only thing I could feel one? was his hand holding mine. I'm pretty sure without that I'd have... I'm not sure I could have made it back. Hmm. Why do you think Dr. Decker didn't care for about moment, his mom? I thought he might cry. Just for a split second. But he didn't. He just carried on with our session. Oh, I wish I knew what went on there. Jaya probably knows. She spent quite a long time with Sarah when she visited. Oh my gosh. All right, you spent time with Sarah. I've been wanting to ask her this. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Very strange. Uh, what happened to Hilda's daughter? I'm keeping doll? her safe until I can pass her on to Hilda's daughter. Maybe she'll fly over for the funeral. I don't know. Are you okay, Doctor? You look a bit pale. Oh God, do I see the doll or something? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna like pop up. Okay, um, hold on, I need a hint for Jaya. 
I should tell Jaya if I'm frustrated, yes or no. Oh, uh, no, I'm not frustrated. Okay, just checking. Oh, all right. <laughs> what a hint. <laughs> I forgot you even asked me about that. All right, Eileen, how's Terry? Terry hasn't been into work for a few days. I hope there's nothing wrong with her. Or do you? Are you just pretending to care about Terry? Terry and I are never going to be best friends, but I wouldn't wish her ill. Did you have a referral letter to Dr. I referred Decker? myself because of Dr. Decker's mother. Was I supposed to have a letter? Uh, yes, you were supposed to have a letter. I don't really know. Oh, okay. Huh. You referred yourself. Hmm. Did she kill Terry? I don't... I don't know. I can stop You've you shifting. You've never seen me angry, have you, Doctor? Oh, gosh. Don't say things like that when you don't mean them. It causes upset. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. Okay. <laughs> um, let's talk to Nathan now. How are you doing, Nathan? Oh, wait. What do you know about Decker's drinking? Have I already asked you how are you? Oh, I already asked him. What do you say? I'm feeling good. I ran into one. Oh, Mariana. Oh, good, good, good. All right. Me setting up my patience is working brilliantly. What do you know about Decker's drinking habits? Alcohol isn't something I usually notice on people until they're slurring and <laughs> weaving around. Yeah, Was very Dr. Decker an alcoholic? Probably. I never saw him drink, though. Interesting. What are you trying to do most? Cure his patients or find out who killed him? Find out who killed- I mean, my job is to cure the patients. My job isn't necessarily to find out who killed them. That should be the police's job, but yeah, I'm gonna say cure his patients. I want him to think that, uh, or him to know that I'm trying to help him. It's been nice chatting with you. Don't get me wrong, but I can't help but feel you're mainly interested in finding out about the old doctor. I suppose you already know Dr. Decker thought one of his patients was trying to kill him. What? What? Why did Dr. Decker think that? He told me in that? one of our sessions, which was later rewound, that someone had been leaving him messages on his prescription pad. Not good messages. What? What sort of messages? He didn't tell me anything specifically. Just death threats. It was one of his many rants. I just sat there quietly, hoping he wasn't going to try and hypnotize me again. I asked him if it was a boy or a girl's handwriting. He said he knew who it was, and that they'd be in trouble. I think he was bluffing. Hmm. Tell me about your referral. Let's talk about Mariana. I can't really explain it, but she seems like such a friendly person. Yeah. And she seems like that to everyone. The wrong tree. I think I've probably said too much. Wait, what? It's probably not the same girl anyway. Police. No. No? Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, tell me about your My referral. solicitors assured me that I wouldn't have to discuss anything about my trial with you, so I'm not going to. Concentrate on my state of mind and let me worry about other things. Okay. Please do. I wish I could believe you. Hmm. No, Mariana said that she was interested in Nathan, so I just told her that she could talk to him if he want she wanted to. Yeah, that was in the last stream. And then she's like, "Well, make you know, it's not my fault if he goes missing." I'm like, "Oh, great. That's that's just great." <laughs> so now I'm concerned, but yeah. Uh, let's see here. It might help him get over Hannah. It might not. I am definitely not a, you know, <laughs> an official psychiatrist. That is clear. Um, let's see. What else could we ask? Why do you need to use your skill wisely? 
I don't intend to imagine things at all. I only did it this time to avoid being killed. That pursuer is definitely on to me. I say he, but I couldn't see his face. It just had the build and size of a man. It felt like it was sucking the oxygen out of the air in front of me. Hmm. Sucking out the oxygen. I found it difficult breathing the closer he got to me. Oh, that is weird. I suppose that's just fight or flight. An anxiety response. No. Sorry. Hmm. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see if she's actually a siren. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to ask. Shifting is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, yeah. It's, it's what makes me gift. special. I know I've had a few bad experiences, but there's no way I'm going to stop shifting. I become what people want to see. But some people, they're not right in the head. They make me turn into horrible things. That's why I won't shift for huh. anyone with mental problems anymore. Horrible things. One guy, a patient, he used to have night terrors. An 80-year-old man screaming and kicking in his sleep. When I shifted for him, I don't know who I became, but as soon as he saw me, he was terrified. And when I looked down, I didn't have any legs, just bits of them. Oh gosh, that sounds horrible. Um, bits. I don't have anything. Um, yeah, that is weird. Shifting is only supposed to work on people who were dying. But it didn't, but right? Dr. Decker was near death. Just because no one knew it doesn't mean it's not the truth. Oh, so it might have worked. You just didn't have anybody you cared about. Destiny and fate and everything like that. My mum's a big believer in fate. I'm not so sure. I mean, what about free will? If everything is fated to happen, then we're just machines carrying out commands. Maybe fate does have a plan for everyone, but who says we have to play along? Hmm, play along? Mm, let me... Fate, um... Yeah, I think I thought maybe if I said play along, she would go more into depth about that. Um Sorry. I think I already Only asked her that. I want to. It doesn't happen on its own. I have to will it. Oh, okay, good. I'm not... All right, so we asked all the questions to Eileen Bryce. What about, can I ask about like the church or art? I have nothing. Hmm. The painting. Hmm. What, what's some other things that I could ask him about? I don't know, is he like scared or? Midnight hour, stranger. No. Hmm. What else did he mention during our our meeting? He really thinks it's death. No. Hmm. 
Oh. That's what I tried to ask him before, what the painting means to him, but I have to ask what the spider the means. Painting. I'd like to think it was me. Okay. I figured he connected to I himself. I was lying in wait and spinning some elaborate trap in my midnight hour. Oh, a trap. It's more likely that I'm just the fly. Trap. Mm. Fly. There's no fly in the painting. I think that's what I like about it. The spider has been so intent on spinning its web that it hasn't noticed there'll be nothing to eat. Hmm. Yeah, we already asked him about death. Sorry. Um, that there'll be nothing to eat. Nothing? No. Spider? No. What does the spider mean to you? Hmm. Your question seems... Okay, I think that might be it. I don't really know what else I should ask these people. David Castleford. Oh. Yeah, save Molly. As if that wasn't one of those days that just moved into the next one. Jaya would just tell me about, like, Sarah, Sarah Decker. Interesting. Um. Interesting. No. Okay, let me see if the hint will help me out at all. Oh. <laughs> How I relax? I should talk about more things? Um. Hmm. How do I relax? Sure, meditating. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I made it a question. I don't. Um. Reading. I. I relax. By hmm. I don't know, I can't really think of much else. Shopping. You're getting closer. No. Okay. I just was trying to pick out like the obvious responses for how people relax. Alright, I think we're just gonna continue. I'm so scared that Claire is gonna actually bring her husband tonight. Oh, no. No. I mean, I keep pushing her to do it, but, like, I don't really want to see that. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. You said you'd help me with my problem, but he's still here. Who? Dr. Decker. He wants me to kill people. Why? He wants them to follow me. Oh, great. Good see. thing I told Nathan to hang out with to you. The creature. That's, that's great. The Cthulhu? You know what I want. Focus. Alright, sorry, man. Uh, what happens when they it follow you? Them. It's getting stronger. Dr. Decker says when it's strong enough, it's going to walk again. That's why I black out. Slightly mad. Great. I'm becoming slightly mad. That's that's always great. Why do you black out? He doesn't want me to know. He doesn't want me to remember. I'm feeding a beast that wants to eat us all. You've got to tell me, Doctor. You have got to tell me the truth. What do you want me to tell you? You're dreaming, but your dreams are the truth. Oh gosh. Don't forget me I'm when scared. you wake. <laughs> I don't know how I'm in your dream, but now we're together. Let's play a game. Ooh. 
I'm getting goosebumps, but I have this jacket on. Oh, jeez. All right. Um, what game? I say a word. You say a word. Ready? Okay. Guilty. Innocent. Or I could just say Decker. Would that be a good answer? Oh, man. That would have been a cool answer. Um, What's another... Innocent sounds too easy. Guilty. Um, I guess I'll say innocent. Murderer. Murderer. Mariana or Claire? I'm. I could just say death, right? You're disappointed. All right, sorry. I guess I have to pick a person. Murderer, Mariana or Claire? <laughs> Ellen, <laughs> Eileen. That's interesting. I wonder if she'd take that. That's a good doctor. Now, just give me those oh. three little words, and I'll let you go. Oh gosh, is she gonna try to make me kill? Oh, I love you. No! I love you? No! <laughs> Let's concentrate oh on the gosh. problem. She's Shall we trying to make me fall in love with her. No! <laughs> She's trying to lead me into the ocean to kill me. Hmm. No, I don't love you. You're a psycho. I love you, question mark? What's another thing? Uh, I guess I could say, like, I hate you. That's a little bit harsh. I dislike you. The longer it takes for you to get to the bottom of this, the more people will die. Oh my gosh. That, are you threatening me now? Alright. I love you? Yes. Oh. Yes, you do. Oh, that is so creepy. <laughs> hey, count me out. How are you doing today? Oh no, am I actually in love with her now? You rang my doorbell. The truck driver. The little girl. Killed himself. David is weird. Look, she's watching me. I need to put David Molly. out of his misery. Is it okay to steal things? Beeping tablets. Fingerprints. Dead bodies. I saw Jessica. Should I kill David? Hilda died last night. Do you think I should tell her about psychokinetics? The photos. Dr. Deckard seemed to like a drink. Bit of a drinking problem. It's probably the same for Jaya. One of his patients was trying to kill him. He lent me some money. Leaving him messages. Creature. Human flesh. I'd teleported. You have that dream. Oh, dog. nice. You have the day off. That's sweet. I've been doing good. This game's like been uh, insanity, please. This game's been uh, spooking oh. me out, but it's really good so far. The doctor. Just been relaxing as well. You look pale, because that's what Mariana yeah. said, right? Somebody told me I look pale. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, great. I can't find Dr. Decker's prescription pad anywhere. I'm not sure when it went missing, but I. Don't remember seeing it for a while. Yours is there, but I'm scared one of the patients may have got their hands on it. Let me know if you find it anyway, and ask me about Mariana later. I've got news. I'll ask her about it now. I've been reviewing your files. I know, I know, I'm sorry, a bit naughty. But have you considered that Mariana may have murdered Dr. Decker because of the money she owed him? Yeah, that she had was my immediately game. thought. She that got was my immediate all the money thought. If he died, and it makes most sense, doesn't it? Uh, I don't think so. Jaya thinks Mariana's motive might be money. Hmm. I mean, that was my immediate thought, but I kind of pushed that to the side because I thought there are better motives than that. I'm just going to ask her how she is. I'm worried about you, Doctor. You seem quiet and, well, it's just your fingerprints on the bottle. What? Maybe you touched it by accident. Oh, great. You didn't know him. 
Did you? My fingerprints are on the bottle? I don't think I knew, Decker. Then why are your fingerprints on his vodka bottle? No, no, don't answer that. Oh, the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. Who hasn't it touched? I'm so worried. Oh, you said the, you said the title of the game, girl. Why are you worried you about me? You just seem a little different from the person who turned up all those weeks ago. You don't talk to me as much as you did. You flitter between patients in a daydream. Tell me what things are bothering you. Sounds like Jay might think I'm going insane. Hmm. Do you think I'm going Who insane? Who measures sanity or insanity? One man's philosopher is another man's fool. I'm keeping an eye on you. I won't let you go crazy. How are you coping with grief? I think I'm okay with the grief now. My mother died suddenly and I think I was projecting Dr. Decker's death to be about her. I know they're not related. Oh. Your mom? My mother died suddenly, like Dr. Decker. Was she murdered? For her, though, it was different. She burst into flames. I was seven. They said she must have been smoking and drinking on the sofa, but she doesn't smoke or drink. Professor Alderby said it was spontaneous combustion. For a grief counselor, you're asking- I didn't think it was a random question, but whatever. I'm just gonna talk to you about the combustion, I guess. According to Professor Alderby, people can will themselves to die. Some people will have heart attacks, some people will have strokes. Those who are truly despondent, they're the rare few that spontaneously combust. I'm not sure if I believe in all of that. That's a little weird. Very, very strange. I know she's going to jump scare me. She does this every day. That's why I'm talking to her first. So she does. She can tell me and she doesn't have to jump scare me. Said so Decker's prescription pad went missing. Dr. Decker's prescription pad is still missing. I'll let you know if it turns out. It's going to like turn up while in the middle of talking to someone else, isn't it? Tell me about the death I threats. didn't know anything about that. If I have any grievances with my employer, I spit in their coffee. I hope that's how you like it. Ew. Great. <laughs> Specialist. All right. Did you have any grievances with Decker? Don't Decker? become like Dr. Decker. I think that somebody killed him because he was using them. Yeah, that was kind of what There's I said footage. as well. I can't show you because it would affect you too much. Suffice to say, when Mariana told him she could breathe underwater, he wanted the same power for himself. So... Instead of trying to cure her of it, he'd try and amplify it to see how it worked so he could imagine it for himself. I think he did that with all his special patients. I think he wanted all of their powers. That makes sense. If you believe in that sort of thing. Any patient who presented with psychokinetic issues, they were his special patients. Towards the end, he began ignoring all the other cases. Most of the patients saw it as a curse, what they were experiencing, what they were unwittingly doing. Dr. Decker saw it as an ability, a power to be harnessed and used for, well, God knows what he was gonna use it all for. So we made them give in to it and it consumed them, consumed all of them. Whether you believe any of that or not is your choice, but they did, which made them angry. And that's why I think he was murdered by a patient. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been saying the whole time, where it seems like he was trying to get the, the powers out of his patients, even if they didn't necessarily want it to begin with. Uh, who do you think it's murdered It's not Decker? your job to find out who the murderer is. It's the police. You can only point them in the right direction. Murder is a means to an end. There's a lot more going on here you should be thinking about. Hmm. <laughs> Coffee with a side of gyro spit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ew, that's so gross. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, do you think Cthulhu is real? A fictional space god that's resting at the bottom of the Atlantic. It's not likely, is it? Or maybe you think it is. Have you spoke to Mariana today? Oh, is she going to tell me about more about Cthulhu? No, I have not spoken to Mariana today. Your patience will always be a bother, but you're caring for people. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? In a few weeks' time, there'll be a whole new bunch of faces with a whole new bunch of quirks. Let's not have a whole new Doctor, shall we? Hmm. What else is bothering me? Psychokinesis, maybe? Yes. That is a worry. Psychokinesis. I, I always pronounce that wrong. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Mariana might be a siren, especially after she called to me in that dream and made me tell her that I loved her. Um, what else could be worrying me? Um, the patients? I don't. Um, dreams. Really? I mean, my dreams are bothering me. No. Okay. Can I ask you about the other patients? Oh, okay. Oh, so let's just go right to Mariana, I guess. Oh my gosh. How are you today? I'm fine, doctor. I went to the beach, swam under the sea, and returned to tell the tale. No blackouts. Nothing. Okay. How are your dreams? I don't dream, Doctor. I haven't dreamed for years now. Yeah. I did say that was a dream, didn't I? Is it easier to swallow, knowing it's the truth? What's the truth? The truth is, I'm not like you, Doctor. Or anyone else. I can swim to the bottom of the ocean for hours. And people follow me. Even if it's the last thing they do. And then you feed them to Cthulhu. Cthulhu. I don't know anything about that. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, she definitely looks like she should be a siren. Uh, did you write the death threat? I prefer actions over words, Doctor. You know that. Tell me about being People followed. People follow me into the sea. I don't force them, they just follow to see the creature. Creature. I'm not sure what you'd call it. A wisp? A star? It's so bright and warm and loving. I don't know why it leaves me. Hmm. It only wants the others. It, it feeds on them. When I, I feel down, like Jaya is going to pop up at any moment. I black out. <laughs> but if I can just keep looking forward, no blackouts. I can just swim back to the top when it's finished. What's finished? What's finished? You really want to know? They, it if eats them, down, right? You black out. It's writhing. Just limbs of people. Who dreamed clubs, about the limbs of the people anyways? Was it Not her? Just from this week, but last week, her. last month, last year. They all look terrified, but somehow still alive. The creature. 
it's all inside them, poking holes through them that they shouldn't have. So it like keeps them alive and feeds on their like essence or it whatever? It just eats them. But they're still alive. Slowly. Mm. Oh, okay. Hmm. The missing people. That's where they go. I, I don't know I'm doing it. I swear I don't, Doctor. The creature. I hear it. It's hungry. Nobody can know. It's our secret. Hmm. Can I mention her necklace? I've got nothing to say about that. As she holds her necklace. Okay. Um. I can't keep a secret if people are getting hurt. Yeah. It's our secret. What will you tell people that I'm feeding people to a creature at the bottom of the ocean? What proof do you have? You can't tell on me. You know what you do to me. When you visit. I let you do it because sometimes I'm ashamed. She said I I've visited done. her before. You make me feel like I deserve it. Hmm. You get inside me, Doctor. And it hurts. And you don't care. What? Wait, what can I say after that? I mean, don't care. No. Um, get inside you. You watch me undress. Oh, okay, so it is obviously... You say nothing, but still, you order okay. it just it like... Okay, it is what I think it is. Did. I strip, ashamed. Like Dr. Decker. As I lie down, you bend over me. So horrible. Like worms. Crawling. Can like the Cthulhu turn into people? Jaws is like that what pipe. that is? You bury into me. I lay there. Frozen. While you violate me. Punishing me. I'm not sick. You'll have to ask me something else. Hmm. Yeah, that's... Hmm. What else can I ask about that, though? Yeah, I should ask her about the stolen prescription pad. Yeah, just change the subject. Yeah, it's not like that's important or anything at all. Alright, let's ask her the other questions, and then I'll find a way to ask her about that. Man, that's so messed up. Uh, do you know about the stolen prescription pad? Why would someone steal Dr. Decker's prescription pad? I didn't even know he had one. I mean, does that mean that Dr. Decker didn't even know that he was, like, going over to her house? Was, like, Decker, Decker experiencing something that I'm experiencing where, like, I don't have any memories of something? Or is there, like, some sort of shape-shifting being, not Aline... I mean, it could be Aline. Who knows? Who knows at this point? But, like, can the Cthulhu shapeshift? Or is it, like, dreams like I've been having? Or is it actually me? That's, like, my three... <laughs> That's my three guesses for, like, her experiencing these things. Either it's, like, the Cthulhu monster in some form. It could be Aline. That's... That's, like, really weird, though. I don't... I haven't seen any connections between her and Aline quite yet. Or it's like me, it really is me, and I'm like just going crazy and I'm like losing my memories and stuff like that. I don't know if there's any other like possibilities. Um, did you take the wow. prescription pad? 
That's a low blow, doctor. I'm sorry, the game wants me to ask and you. After all our sessions. I'm not a thief. Even the loan, that was just unfortunate. Hmm, wait. How long have I been going to your house? I don't have. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know, I know you don't like Aline. I. Yeah, I mean, there hasn't been really huge red flags for Aline. I mean, not outwardly, but, you know, I obviously all these people have issues, so I, I wouldn't put it past it being, like, Aline or something. Uh, what I missing can't people? explain what happened with John. He followed me back from the bar that night and swam with me under the ocean. I blacked out. He'd gone. Who's John? You must have read about John in the news. He was a local student who went missing. He was a looker. And he had a way with words, but he was also a cheat. The creature liked eating him a lot. But I can't explain what happened next. I left him to be eaten. Okay. And the next morning, he turns up in my bed. Oh my gosh, that is creepy. At my house. Oh. Oh. He's not wet at all. That's weird. No signs he's been in the sea, but he has holes in him. Oh, did you like bury his body Lots or something? Of holes. Oh. His inside <laughs> is on the outside. Just all Ew. tangled worms. Gross. And now they're blaming me, but you knew that, doctor, didn't you? That's why I'm here. Why are you really here? They think I killed John. John and some others. Oh, I see. They need to know whether I'm insane or not. So at the end, do I get to determine if which ones are insane and which ones aren't? Oh, oh boy. I definitely think she's insane. But for Claire, the one who, like, killed her husband, it still sounds to me like she just did it in a fit of rage. So I'm still, like, and she's looking for that clinically insane for, like, you know, diagnosis so she doesn't have to be in jail that long, and that just seems wrong. So, like, for... For Claire, not Mariana, for Claire, I think that I'm going to, if I have the choice at the end, to say that Claire wasn't insane at the time of the incident, because that's kind of what I'm leaning towards right now. As for Mariana, though, I think I am going to say that she's clinically insane if it ever comes to that point, because she's just been, like, crazy the whole dang time. Um, who needs to know where they're My insane? Lawyer. Yeah. He says I'm insane, but that he needs you to rubber stamp it. Do you think I'm insane, doctor? Oh, yep, and then I get to decide. Uh, did you kill John? No. The creature killed John. Tell me about the loan. Dr. Decker asked for his loan back after diagnosing me as sane. He diagnosed you as sane. In his opinion, my blackouts and everything else were fictional. He had no proof, of course, either way, or I'd be cured, but he asked for his money back, and I didn't have it. So he did. So Decker asked for his money back. Why would I do that? Dr. Decker transferred our loan agreement to Clara Castleford. She bought him out. I owe her the money now. Oh, wait, you owe Claire money? She's the woman that took over the loan I had with Dr. Decker. Why did Claire take over the loan? I don't know why she did it, but Dr. Decker got repaid, and now my agreement is with Claire. You should ask her. 
Interesting. Hmm. So what? Claire paid out... She owes Claire the money now. Interesting. Mariana says Claire took over Decker's loan agreement. Decker's loan agreement. I don't really know the girl, but I did buy out her loan from Dr. Decker. I mainly did it to shut him up about it. Oh. But can you imagine having him as a creditor? That poor girl. I hope it didn't accrue anything more than interest. Isn't there, there is no interest. Surely that isn't what you need to be asking me. Oh, well there wasn't any interest in the, in the agreement. Let me just double check. Yeah, interest amount 0%. Um, hmm. I would, I still don't see why Claire would kill Decker. Right? I mean, Claire took over the loans. So even if Claire did kill Decker, what would Claire get out of it? Not, not, not much. I do think she's insane. Thank you, Doctor. That's all I ever needed to hear you say. Is she just gonna stop coming now? Uh, has anyone else turned up at your home? You're a naughty one, Doctor. You know you visited my home. Why do you keep denying it? I did not visit you at Don't home. Don't you remember? That's a shame. You had fun. Hmm. What do we do? You already, you already told us. If you can't remember, I'm certainly not going to enlighten you. But you just told me. Didn't you just tell me, like, in detail? Weird. Very weird. Okay. What's the hint? Can you remember what you did? I mean, uh, sex with you? That's not something I know about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean... I don't know about that. Okay. I, I don't I don't know what you think I thought that I did. <laughs> I'm going crazy now because you won't answer my dang questions. It has to be like the right specific words or like, you know, it, it won't go through in the game. Hmm. Decker gave Claire the insanity plea. She wouldn't have killed him. But if Decker did give Claire the insanity insanity plea, why is she still here? Wasn't it like that Decker didn't give her one either way or the other? She was still being like diagnosed or something? Or am I am I thinking of something else? Maybe I'm mistaken. But yeah, I do agree that Claire wouldn't have killed Decker. It's my fault they're all dying. They're following me. Hmm. Okay, let's move on to somebody else. He died and can't testify. Well, I don't think Claire was insane when she stabbed her husband. It just sounds like the classic, like, she got really angry and then killed him. Anyways, like, when I tell her that I think that she wasn't insane, um, temporarily insane, when I told her that, she's like, no, that's not possible because I reanimated my husband. If that's her basis for her not, or if that's her basis for... You know, saying that she she was temporarily insane, but like she's fine now. Then like I don't want to go with it because I don't think I think it's still murder even if you reanimated your husband right after you killed him. It's just that you know the basis of her rebuttal to me wasn't very good. Let's ask her I'm how fine. she's doing. I oh. killed David. Oh, even though I told Again. you not to. He went too far. Oh, uh, what about the girl? David haunted her and hung her up like an animal. Doctor, I think I'm going to be sick. I can't talk about this. Let's talk about something else. Please. 
Oh, wow. Like my diagnosis. Oh, right, right, right. The fact that you're not, you weren't temporarily insane when you killed your husband. I mean, I think you're insane now, but, uh... Because <sighs> she still wants me to say that she was. Oh, there you go, Kaiden. Thank you. Yes, she wasn't temporarily insane, but Decker gave her the plea for buying out the loan. That makes sense. That makes sense to me. Because nobody knows why she did it, but it, it would make perfect sense if she wanted to give her the money that Decker realized she couldn't get at, he couldn't get back from Mariana. Yeah, but I mean, she can't buy me out, so I'm still going to say that she wasn't insane. <laughs> why do you want to talk about it you still? You promised you'd diagnose me as temporarily insane. <laughs> no, I didn't. You can't go back on that now. I definitely never told you that. Decker did, but not me. Um, how did you kill David? Um, with an axe. I got him to put his head on the wood block. He, he didn't, didn't really know what he was doing. Oh. He trusted me. I cut off his head. When I picked it up, he was smiling. Probably a muscle spasm. I don't know anything about that, Doctor. Hmm. How did David go David too far? David is a monster. Yeah, because he killed the girl. Anushka, she's... hanging up. Oh, the continuing saga of Dr. Decker. After he'd seen David and done his due diligence, he came up with an offer I couldn't refuse. Remember? The one I told you about when we first met. What was Decker's <sighs> offer? Dr. Decker wanted me to reanimate him. He said he would kill David unless I agreed. Reanimate him? How are you supposed to reanimate him? He called me on Valentine's night. <gasps> he promised to use a disposable phone so there would be no trace. I was supposed to come here, where I would find him dead, and then reanimate him. I agreed immediately. It seems that Dr. Decker went through with his half of the agreement. But I forgot to turn up. So it was planned. It was totally planned. At least according to Claire it was. So whoever killed him, it was like a mutual agreement. According to her, at least. Oh yeah, her with the knife. Very funny. Okay, um... Hold on, hold on. Wait. Decker Decker knew he would be killed? I don't I don't know how to phrase it. Focus, Doctor. Um Dr. Doctor Decker wants to reanimate him. He called me on Valentine's night. He promised to use a disposable phone so there would be no trace. I was supposed to come here where I would find him dead, and then reanimate him. I agreed immediately. She forgot. It seems that Dr. Decker went through with his half of the agreement. Agreement. But I forgot to turn up. No, Doctor. I need your expertise, Doctor. Huh. I mean, he was stabbed in front of him by his, like, little paper thing. So maybe he was trying to get killed by somebody. Or they, like, actually just talked about it and they agreed. Man, why can't I ask anything else about it? I never saw Dr. Decker's prescription pad. Hmm. I imagine he kept it hidden away. To stop people stealing it. Hmm. Did you write death threats on the pad? I've already told you. I never saw his prescription pad. So of course I didn't write any death threats. It sounds like someone is trying to frame me. Who's trying to frame me, Doctor? Why would Decker want to kill David? Yes. Dr. Decker threatened to kill David. That terrified me at the time. I still had hope that David would recover. Yeah, let's ask about suicide. That's not relevant here. Oh, okay. What if I don't think you're insane? Doctor, 
Did I tell you about that time that I used the power of my mind to bring my husband back to life? Yeah, that was after the fact, I can't though. imagine what I'd do to the psychiatrist that double-crossed me. But I'm sure it would be fun. What the heck? Are you threatening me? Girl, girl, are you threatening me? No. Threats are usually made without the intention of following them through. This is quite the opposite. I think... Wait. <laughs> Try hard. All right. All right. <laughs> that was a, that was a lot of all at once here. Okay, what's what's the hint? Give me the hint. Did I promise you? Doctor, it's only been a few days since I last murdered my husband. Choose your words carefully. It's a fine thing to accuse me of making this all up when I've just killed the only proof I have. You're not insane. You were not temporarily insane. Lock her up. <laughs> call the police. I'm gonna call the I don't police know on you. All right, Jaya. Claire's being real weird. Claire threatened me. <laughs> All right. Oh, Bryce, he came back, my man. Oh wait. Oh, that's not. Oh, I thought that was a different guy. Oh well, at least he's here. I'm we'll not feeling very well. Oh, great. I tried to sleep through the midnight hour, and I slept for eight hours. When I woke up, it was looking at me. Oh, God. That, that thing was looking at me. Time was still frozen. But I can't escape it. I'm doomed. He was just looking at you? Wait. The thing that's following me, it doesn't have a face. Oh. I saw it close up when it was standing over me. It has no face, no eyes, no mouth, no nothing. Inside its hood is just space. Just a black hole. I don't know what you're- Hmm. All right, so, sounds good, count me out. Um, hmm, why do you think you're doing- It knows what I did with Dr. Decker. It's been taunting me. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait. Hold on a second. What did you just say? It knows what I did with Dr. Decker. Wait, what did you do with Dr. Decker? It wanted me to follow it, so I did. It brought me here, Doctor. Here. It thinks I killed Dr. Decker. I'm sure of it. Did you kill Decker? I took his body. It was me. I took it from the coffin because I didn't want him put in the ground. I don't know what I was going to do with him. I just, I just didn't think burial would be enough. Maybe I would cremate him. But the body disappeared. If only he'd been cremated like you wow. would be. Thanks. I have a private tool shed at the graveyard. I moved his body in there before the burial. But when I came back, he'd gone. It was locked and he'd gone. What the hell? How did that happen, Doctor? How did Decker do that? So, he didn't bury Dr. Decker? And then the body just straight up disappeared. Oh, gosh. Maybe Decker's back from the dead. Maybe someone else moved Decker's body. Maybe Decker teleported. I mean, maybe someone else moved his body? If someone else moved Decker, they'd had to have picked the lock, moved the body, and then locked up again. Why go to the trouble of locking up again? I don't want him to make him feel crazier than he already is, but maybe Decker's perhaps. back from the dead. It had crossed my mind that Dr. Decker perhaps resurrected himself. Maybe he wasn't dead. Just sleeping. And then what's lost? Maybe Decker teleported? It's not out of the question to think that Dr. Decker teleported himself out of the tool shed. If I can do it, he probably can. That's the kind of thing I've been thinking. But the thing that's been following me, 
It can teleport too. I think the thing might be Decker. Is the thing Decker? No, I don't think it is. No. And so it is. You worried me then, Doctor. I thought you were starting to believe in the unbelievable too. Okay, how's Jessica? Jessica has had a restraining order taken out against me and her daughter. That makes sense. I showed her the photos and then the rest is a blur. She was screaming, hitting me, pushing me away. In hindsight, showing her the photos might not have been the best thing to do. Hmm. I have nothing. Conscious? I don't know. Any no. Well, I knew that she would take out a restraining order. Yes. Yeah. Apparently, honesty is not the best policy when it comes to me and females. I think I've regressed somewhat. That's not really what. Yeah, I do want to ask you about your regression. Are you still stealing things? I teleported things? back into the art gallery after our session. In the midnight hour. What did I you replaced do? the painting. So I haven't stolen anything for a long time now. Okay, that's good. Perhaps a cheeky borrow best describes it. Well, I'm glad he returned it. I'm trying to make him undo all the bad stuff he has done, but I don't know if that's exactly going to help him. What has been happening in the midnight hour? I tried hour? to avoid my extra hour. I tried to sleep through it. I did try one thing. I spied on you, Doctor. You have a strangeness, don't you? Wait a second. Strangeness? You live in the same house as Dr. Decker. I spied on him several times, so I know the house very well. What? You kept it almost entirely the same. Why did you live in the same house as Dr. Decker? Is it a perk? Or you? Dr. Decker. What? Yes, I'm Dr. Decker. No, I'm not Dr. Decker. The house is a perk. That's weird, man. No, I don't think I am. <laughs> my face there was amazing. What do you mean? <laughs> It's just my mind being blown over here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I thought it might a be a perk. Sure. I'm sorry I spied on you. Yeah, you should be I was be just sorry. getting worried that you weren't who you said you were. Actually, I don't just even know some anymore. some mannerisms. <laughs> Strangeness. Okay. It's good you've adopted his dog, though. I'm not sure many people would have done. Oh, he has a dog? My goodness, I'm missing so many things. <laughs> Do you know anything about- wait, dog? I don't- Decker's dog? That's not important. House. Decker's house. I don't know why- oh my gosh. Wait, so I'm living with- in Dr. Decker's ho house and I have his dog, apparently, according to him. But you know, he could just be lying to me to freak me out, but I don't see why he would. Do you know anything about the missing prescription pad? I didn't pad? steal Decker's pad. I didn't have to. If I wanted to use it, I could just teleport in here and steal a sheet. Why take the whole pad? Why be that obvious? True. Do you know anything about the death threats well, on the pad? Well, kudos to whoever had the guts to do that. <laughs> Wasn't me. What did they say? You've piqued my interest now. You said you were trying to sleep through the night? I tried to sleep through my extra hour. I didn't mm. want to face it. That thing has been taunting me. I wish I was still religious. Religious? When something is chasing you, you start wishing that there was a higher power that could save you. That makes sense. I remember you agreeing with me that there are too many religions. I remember I wish that. there was only one, mm. and one that I could believe in. Give you some peace of mind. You're missing. Hmm. Burial 
isn't enough for Dr. Decker because he's evil. I thought of anything, we'd establish that in our earlier sessions, Doctor. Yeah, I had to yeah, destroy I do him remember properly, that. Not just bury him in the ground. Oh, destroy him properly. Like, what was his intentions with the body? I don't know anything about that. That's not real. That's not it. What did you want to do with Decker's body? Hmm. Okay, we'll wait until later. Let's talk to Eileen. Aw, what a cute dress. What's she holding? Some lunch? Uh, how are you today? I'm good. I feel better. Last session, that was all negative. I don't want to be like that. I made you something. A little thank you. Oh, for being it's so some nice. food. They're cookies. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. I love cookies. <laughs> hey, sausage. Yep, it is still going on. We're about how long? We're about like seven hours into the game. So it seems like each playthrough, and we're pretty close to being done with it too. Let me double check the menu. 94%. So we are. Each day. Oh my gosh, that scared me. You ran yeah, so we're, all, we're almost all done. So it seems like each playthrough is going to be like about seven to eight hours. How are you doing, by the way, Sausage? Why were you feeling negative? I'm a happy person. And really, what's the point of being miserable? It doesn't matter what's going on at work or anything. Happy is the only goal. Mm -hmm. Max told me that. I think some footballer might have said it. Wait, who's Max? I told you about Max, right? Didn't I mention him before? No. What do you mean? Sorry. You never mentioned Max. Yes, but you don't know the whole story. Max is 77. He was one of my patients. I thought he was dying, so I shifted for him. Came an old sweetheart of his, apparently. Only Max didn't die. Oh. He actually got better somehow. And then he came and asked me to do it again. What did you do? I'm not sure. What Max asked you. Max asked you to do it again. Question mark. Did you shift for Max again? Thing is, because Max didn't die, he saw me change back after I let go of his hand. There wasn't anything I could do about it. Who's Max's Eleanor, sweetheart? Eleanor, her name was, or is like i say he doesn't even know where she is now but she obviously still loves him when i shifted i felt all fluttery and excited it's so sweet isn't it i thought you said that you didn't become the person now you don't become the person now when you shift why don't you check your notes hmm Oh, yeah, that you want to play it yourself someday. Yeah, this game is definitely good. I, I have a feeling there might be different endings because there's been like a lot of different choices of what I could select. So I might have to play through this game multiple times to get all the endings. Do you know anything about the prescription pad? Did you become Eleanor for Max? Yes. Max and Eleanor had dinner on Valentine's Day. I felt a bit weird when he asked me, but he said he just wanted to have one more date with her and then he wouldn't ask me again. And to be fair, he was a perfect gentleman. I mean, I didn't want to have that conversation. The I don't sleep yeah. with 77 year old men <laughs> I figured that was the conversation. Of, of course, yes. Let's see. Uh, do you know anything about the prescription pad? What about the prescription pad? Did you take it? Yes, I took it. Oh. I had to. Why? Sorry, I don't know. Oh. 
Why did you have to steal the pad? Dr. Decker told me he could use it to take away my gift. Wait, how... Take away your gift? Sorry, Doctor, I'm trying to answer your question. How could Decker take away your gift? Maybe he was just winding me up. I don't know. But he said that he could write a prescription and whatever he wrote on it would be true. Like he could write, Ealing can no longer shift. And that would be it. I wouldn't be able to shift anymore. Huh. I could never hurt anyone. You have to believe me, Doctor. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's with someone else on Valentine's Day. Mariana saw them at the pier. Hmm. Wait. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Roger, I think. I don't really... Wait, what did you do on Valentine's? I don't mean Yeah, I do remember that as well. Hmm. Okay, do you know about the Someone death threats? Someone was sending Dr. Decker death threats. Had no idea. You never said anything to me about it. Why would Dr. Decker want to take away I your gift? I suppose he was just trying to cure me. I mean, I thought he believed that I could shift, but maybe he didn't. Maybe he was just humoring me the whole time. What's in the, the usual stuff? Flour, <laughs> sugar, butter, chocolate chips, and my special ingredient. A little herbalist magic to give you some. Oh, so there is something in it. You look like you need it. Oh no, what'd you put in it, girl? What's in it? You put herbs in the cookies? You can put herbal remedies in food. The effect's more subtle, but it does work. Wait. What do you mean? Wait, you, you, so there is something in the cookie, so I shouldn't eat them. Yeah, don't eat them now. Why didn't Max die? I don't know why Max didn't die. It usually works. Usually they die. Wait, does you becoming the patient's loved one cause them to die? I just mean when I shift. They see their loved one and say what they have to say, and then there's nothing stopping them from moving on. Why? What did you think I meant? Um, uh, that you kill your patients? You think I kill my patients? I thought you knew me. Oh, you're worse than Terry. Sorry. <laughs> Mind you, I am worse than Terry. Shouldn't speak ill of her. Oh no, what's wrong with Terry? <laughs> What happened to Terry? Sorry, I don't Wait, Terry? Bad. I'm sure it rings a bell. I don't know. What happened to Terry? <laughs> the only time I've shifted outside hmm. work was with Max. Oh, and here, with Dr. Decker. Hmm. Works. Usually works. Hmm. What else could I ask her? Hmm. Why don't you check... All right, let's go to Nathan then, I guess. Hello, Nathan. I think How are you, you know today? I killed Dr. Decker. So you're going to have a good day. Can we talk a bit about hypnotism, though? What? <laughs> Who murdered Decker? This might feel like the darkest timeline, but it's not my darkest timeline. I didn't kill Dr. Decker. I look at one of your other patients, or maybe even your assistant. 
Slightly MDA. What's that even mean? Jaya. Hmm. I mean, she seems like fairly... She seems like an obvious choice, sort of. She was so close to Decker, but, like, what would be her motivation? Because she knows what he did to, like, the patient, so maybe she did it to protect the patients in a way? That could be a motivation. Hmm. I've heard you can plant key words in people when they're hypnotized. How would I know if I had any? I think that the hypnotism didn't take, but maybe Dr. Decker did hypnotize me, and it did work, and he told me to think that it didn't. I think I found one of the key words. So he does think he's hypnotized Galen Perry. I can't say what it is. I don't want to trigger it. I was on the phone to my dad last night, and he said something, and boom, I fell asleep. Normally I wish that kind of thing would happen, but it just happened. Oh, that's I weird. I phoned him back, I thought it was seconds, but it was an hour later. I asked him what he'd said. He'd watched some NASA program. He was reading off planets. It was one of them. Oh, I should say random planets to see if it works. Oh my gosh, that's so messed up. Saturn? Oh no, wait, what's happening? Hello? Are you just trying to freak me out? It didn't work, right? <laughs> My first guess? I should tell Nathan you went into a trance. Okay, uh, you went into a trance so he did plant me with something i have absolutely no idea did you find out what the key word is Saturn? what is it no don't say it write it down for me and thank you you know there's something i've not been telling you oh what have you not been telling me it's about time travel I read a book about time travel. Oh, that's the only what was thing? happening to me was a type of time travel. Oh, boy. I couldn't boy. control it, but at the end of each day, I would travel back in time to the beginning and live it over again. I'm like Doctor Who, but I don't have a TARDIS, and I can't choose what time I go to. Except once. That doesn't mean anything. Once. The Doctor said she was legally still alive the only thing they could do was starve her what hannah didn't die in the accident the first time around it was worse than death she wouldn't have wanted that i was looking at a photo from around the time of the accident i had a lot of alcohol which i think was probably necessary i jumped back to the junction i started pulling out but the lorry was already on us i drove into the lorry to make sure i didn't wake up in hospital because I woke up the next day, present day, things had changed. So he said he went back to the day that Hannah died and things changed. But it sounds like he's still... Oh my gosh, I hate that girl, ghost girl. Can you not, girl? Get out of here. Her obituary changed in the press <laughs> clippings I kept. It said she was killed instantly. Nothing else changed. Her family seemed to hate me more which is ironic, because the first time around, they pulled her off life support. So I oh. saved them the indignity. Oh, now they just think okay. it's my careless driving that caused her death. I mean, it, it did. Your careless driving did cause her death. Um, what about if I said the other? I don't planets? want it to be triggered. Oh, okay. Pluto's not a planet. <laughs> so Saturn is, Saturn is his word. Okay. Um, how have things been with Mariana? How do you feel about Hana now? I'm at peace with Hannah now. I can save her. And I'll keep trying, but I must move forward. I did kind of ask you not to talk about this anymore, but I suppose you're not taking notes. I am taking notes. Nathan, clearly I'm taking notes. I am taking notes. 
I don't know. He doesn't know. Um, interesting. I will, I will write it down. No. You ask a lot of good questions. Um, no, I want to tell him I will, I will write the word down. Question of. I guess I'll, like, Saturn. Okay, do you know about the prescription, prescription pad? The one with all the death threats on it. Do you think the murderer took it to cover their tracks? No, we know that Eileen took it. Hmm. I suppose it could be a coincidence. But I'm guessing whoever murdered Dr. Decker stole his prescription pad. Why would they steal Decker's prescription pad? No, I didn't take the prescription pad. Why is it such a big issue? Who'd want it? Do you think the killer wrote out a prescription for Tamazepan, faked Dr. Decker's signature, and got it made up? Maybe. But I'm already on to Mesopan, Doctor. I wouldn't need all that drama. I mean, that's exactly what Bryce did. Bryce said that he wrote himself a prescription for Tamazepan, so he's interacted with the prescription pad. But Aline is the one who formally told us that she stole it. She took it. Things have been interesting. How's Mariana? Thanks to Mariana. We went on a date. What well, sort of? She texted me this bar she was going to. And I just turned up. She can dance. I was transfixed most of the night. Next thing I know, I'm lying in my bed at home. The room's spinning. The day moved forward. Huh. In fact, every night I go and watch Mariana dance. The day moves forward. Do you think Mariana likes me? Uh, let me ask. I don't. I don't have... Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, sure. I'm sure she likes Thanks, you. Doctor. She likes everybody. That's what I'm hoping. Aw. Okay, uh, why lie about Hannah being on I life support? Been as far as everyone's concerned, she died in that car accident. Instantly. That's the timeline I'm in, is that she died instantly? Did you ever think to drive away? I didn't have time. Oh. I jumped back to the split second the accident happened. The truck was already on us. I swerved left the first time, so I tried right. If I could have saved her, I would have done. I didn't want her to die. Oh, gosh. There's nothing immediately creepy about that girl. I just don't like it when she shows up. <laughs> My stomach just drops. Didn't he tell me... Oh, yeah. We just met. I chose not to tell you I traveled back in time. Sorry. Oh, okay. If I could turn back time, Doctor. If I could find a way. Chair this. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anybody else I can ask questions to? Seems like we're getting to the end of the game here. I'm also very surprised Jaya hasn't popped up randomly on me. I hope they don't ask me who I think is the murderer, because I still don't know. Nathan thinks it's Aline because she stole the prescription pad. But Claire also had like a really big motive. Actually, wait, did she? Hold on, let me think. No, she was cool with Decker. I'm not, I'm actually not sure anymore. I don't think it's Nathan and I don't think it's Mariana. Maybe it is Aline. Okay. No, that's right. Shifting does only work when someone is near death. But Max is dying. I mean, he didn't die when he was my patient, but he's still ill. Terminal, you know. I'm not Hmm. Ask Nathan about the girl. I can't tell you anything about that. 
I forgot her name. How about nothing? Hmm. I didn't. What are you trying to get me to say? I don't think I. Dang it! What is the driver's daughter? What's what's the name? Hmm. Call Nathan the day he was murdered. Yeah, he asked Nathan if he could come in and he said no. Um Hmm, do you happen to remember what the girl's name is? I don't remember. Should I tell him Mariana might be a killer? Um, probably not. Hmm. Okay. I'm afraid that this is gonna be like the last little time that we can talk to um, the patients. So it says our overall progress is 100%. We found 129 out of 151 responses. That's a crazy... Midnight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you rang my... I knew it was going to happen again. Hmm. So we are at 100%. So as soon as I accuse... Okay. So we have to accuse somebody of murdering Dr. Decker. Aline does seem like a very likely candidate because of her anger towards Decker. And hold on. Let's see here. So we got a lean. So anger towards Decker because of mom. What else does she have? Stole prescription pad. So those are two reasons. How about Claire? Claire... Um, Decker spoke to her husband. Decker threatened... To... To kill her husband. Again. Hmm. Yeah, it will always be Ellen. <laughs> Um, Decker spoke to her husband. I mean, that's not really a motive. Decker threatened to kill her husband again. And then we got Mariana. Mariana's thing is that, uh, she, I'm just going to say sexually abused, even though we know what it was. Um, sexually abused by Decker. Um... Yeah, but I mean, she doesn't owe Decker money anymore. She owes Claire money. So that seems like it was settled before he died. Um, what else? Yeah, Decker was stabbed in the front, in the front of him. Yeah, he owe, she owes Claire money. So owes Claire money that originally... was owed to Decker. Yeah, De Decker was stabbed in his chair. It also sounds like Claire told us that he, that Decker kind of planned to be killed. It sounds like he wanted to be killed and then she, he wanted Claire to raise him from the dead. So Decker called Claire from a, a, a secret phone and told her to come to his office after he was killed. So it sounds like he, Decker put a lot of, he, he did believe that Claire did raise her husband from the dead. And then Claire's just like, I didn't show up. Like, I, I forgot, I guess. Forgot. Sounds like Mar or Claire doesn't really like Decker, but it doesn't seem like he, she killed him. It just sh sounds like she was like kind of happy that he died because he wasn't really nice to her. But I don't see Claire, I don't see Claire killing Decker. 
Come on, let me see if we can get a hint of something to ask Claire. I buried him near the lake house. I'm not sure I'll be allowed a second funeral. Besides, it's close enough to visit. Yeah, it is wild. Definitely. It definitely is. Oh, that's all the questions for Claire. Um, wait, let me listen to that spot one more time. I the lake house. And then she can't have a second I'm not funeral. Sure I'll be I wasn't paying a attention to the last part, though. Besides, it's close enough oh. to visit. Close enough to visit, okay. Yeah, I mean, she has anger issues, so... Anger issues. But it seemed like, for the most part, Decker agreed she was temporarily insane. In return, Claire took over Mariana's loan. So I don't think she was guilty. Okay. Anger towards Decker because of mom stole prescription pad. But that seems also a little bit too obvious. That Aline stole the prescription pad confessed to it but then also happened to kill him maybe that's just too much of a coincidence um and then we have nathan um he was scared he was scared of decker for the most part scared of decker because of his magic because of the fire that he thought was in his hands um he seems convinced that aline was That Aline's the killer because he stole she stole the prescription pad. She doesn't know that he doesn't know that she stole the prescription pad though. Scared of Decker because of his magic. Yeah, Nathan was just very he's just very scared. Oh, needs something tragic. Yeah, that's a good thing to put. Needs move his days forward because he thinks that he's reliving the same day over and over again. I I'm not leaning towards Nathan either, because it seems like he was more passive when it came to Dr. Decker. He was scared of Decker because he he thought that he was trying to hypnotize him, and then he saw Decker do all this crazy stuff. It also seems like it was fairly obvious that he drank in front of him, so it seems like Decker didn't think Nathan was much of a threat, and Nathan also seemed very passive when it comes to Decker. So I think if Decker thought he was going to be killed on Valentine's Day night, he wouldn't have thought that Nathan would kill him. Just because Nathan seems kind of meek and he, he thought that the hypnoti him hypnotizing Nathan worked. Yeah, I can't, I can't really see Nathan doing something that dramatic, though. Everything seems to center around Hannah as opposed to Dr. Decker. Yeah, no, he, uh, Dr. Decker called Nathan during the day, as far as I know, because, um, Nathan was, didn't want to go to his, um, appointment. He being Decker. Yeah. Yeah. But as far as we know, Decker only called him because he didn't want to go to his, his appointment. I don't know why he didn't want to go, though. He's probably just being, he's just probably depressed that day or something. Who's the other person? Bryce. Now, Bryce is a weird one. Bryce does give me the willies when I talk to him. He, ooh, uh, cause just the way he speaks and all that. He thinks, thinks Decker is evil. Believes, spied, spied on Decker. We know for sure that he has spied on Decker. Yeah, Nathan, I mean, sorry, Bruce, Bryce. Bryce could be... A suspect for sure because he he doesn't like Decker at all um Bryce extra hour Decker gave Bryce his ability because he thought he didn't have enough time and then Decker told him to really think about it so it seems like especially for Bryce Decker was the person who got him into this extra hour predicament and now he's having like uh possibly feels guilt because he thinks Decker is trying to kill him in his extra hour.
Bryce might want justice for Iris. Oh, yeah. Saved. Saved Iris from. From Decker. She. Cl Bryce claims he's never seen Iris before, but I feel like he might know who Iris is from before. Yeah, this, this stuff isn't very important. I suppose I'm becoming lazy. I don't know. Okay, we've asked him everything. Okay, and then we have... Yeah, Bryce's list is huge, but he just has a lot of issues. <laughs> That's why. Um, okay, let's let's think of Jaya's list now. Um, New Decker was going insane. That could be a reason. Um, doesn't believe in enhancing um, patients' powers. So clearly, because when I said to Jaya that I wanted to, like, help them control their power, she was very against it. So if Jaya keeps tabs on the, the doctor, as I know she does because she keeps tabs on me, she could have easily seen how Dr. Decker was, you know, manipulating these people or giving them powers and she could have maybe, like, wanted to stop it. Um, what else? What else about Jaya? Oh, let me scroll down a little bit so you, guys, so you guys can actually see my notes. So we have new Decker was going insane. Doesn't believe in enhancing patients' powers. Decker did. What's some other things that Jaya might be... Might have a reason to kill Decker? really think of that much she might have had a thing with Decker I think one patient once briefly mentioned um Scarlet Scarlet with two T's said that she might have been kind of like obsessed with him uh not obsessed but um might have had a thing for Dr. Decker Could she transpose her mother's combustion to Decker because he was trying to enhance their powers? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, Alderby was talking to her about powers and stuff like that. She turned her on to that book about, um, what was it about? Um, how things can happen if you really believe in it. But yeah, she could have some anger regarding that. She didn't really want to do the grief counseling, even though it was kind of pushed on to her. Hmm. Mother's combustion to Decker, yeah. How would I write that? Uh, transpose. Mother's. Hmm. Yeah, spontaneous combustion is related to um, uh, the powers Decker talks about. I don't know how to word that in a way that makes it emotive. Okay, is there anybody else? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Anger towards Decker because mom stole prescription pad. Um, is is okay with death can shape shift but only when somebody's dying yeah I mean out of everybody Aline has the least amount of reasons why she would kill Decker but the first one is a pretty is a pretty big thing especially to her she's never had like a situation where like the daughter or the son wouldn't visit their their loved ones she kills people for a living <laughs> yeah is okay with death may shape-shifting may cause shape-shifting for a patient may be an excuse to kill them after 
because she could always shape shift for them and be like, right now is the happiest they're ever going to be. So I might as well, you know, kill them in a certain way now. Okay, so let's go over everything that we have. Ellen is anger towards Decker because of mom, stole prescription pad, is okay with death, shape shifting for a patient, maybe an excuse to kill them after. We have Claire, Decker threatened to kill her husband. <laughs> Parentheses over again. Uh, anger issues, Decker agreed she was temporarily insane. In return, Claire took over Mariana's loan. Um, Claire, to me, isn't, isn't a big uh, person of interest. Mariana is sexually abused by Decker, which could always be a motive. Owes Claire money that originally was owed to Decker. I I also highly doubt Mariana killed Decker, but that's just me. Nathan scared of Decker because of his magic. Needs something tragic to move his days forward. I don't think it's Nathan either. Bryce thinks Decker's evil. Spied on Decker. Decker gave Bryce his ability. And now it's kind of like a curse. And then he might feel guilty because he thinks Decker is trying to kill him in his extra hour. Also, he knows what Decker is capable of because he saved Iris from him. So he could, Bryce could have always taken it into his own hands um, and tried to like help, help people by killing Decker. Um, but how would, let me think. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, okay. Nothing else for Bryce. Jaya knew Decker was going insane. Doesn't believe in enhancing patient's powers. Decker did, so complete opposite. Decker, th Scarlet thinks Jaya may have a thing for Dr. Decker. Spontaneous combustion is related to powers. Oh, man. I can't. Oh. I have no idea who killed Dr. Decker. And I'm afraid if I pick the wrong one, I'm gonna end up dying or something. <laughs> Yeah, he did die at 10.20 p.m. Yeah, that's that's very true. And we do know, we do know, though, that Bryce can teleport. But it seems like he's only teleported in the, in that extra hour he has. Oh, wait, but no. Wait, Bryce. Did Bryce say he can teleport? Or is that somebody else? Is that Nathan? I think that was Nathan. No, 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 no. Wait, it was Bryce because he was teleporting to get away from death, right? And then I asked him if he could teleport for me. And he's like, well, I don't want my session to end right now. So then he... He didn't teleport. Because then Bryce could just teleport and kill Dr. Decker. And I feel like Decker would expect Bryce to kill him. Because Bryce was saying how Decker's evil and yeah, and then definitely like him thinking even for a second that figure could be Decker is incriminating. But then again, Bryce did get or take his body out from the grave. He wanted to do something else with the body. Bryce's Bryce's um what's it called? His paranoia could definitely just be due to the fact that he didn't bury Decker. That would cause paranoia for anybody, right? And then it disappeared. Like, that's that's weird. <laughs> so, De I mean, Bryce didn't have to kill Decker in order for him to think that, you know, he's trying to kill him. Let me see. Is there any other questions I can ask Jaya? I don't know. It doesn't fill me with any sense of self-worth, if that helps. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... My hand was on, my handprint was on the bottle, which is weird. <laughs> it makes it seem like, like I'm the one who killed Dr. Decker. Because I'm living in his house now. And I've taken over his patients. But like, that's not an option that I killed him. So <laughs> that's like one of those, like, I read a book once. And then like the main character ended up being the, the person who killed everybody. Because my the main character had like lapses in 
not judgment, but like lapses, like blackouts sort of, basically like how Mar Marion is having blackouts. Um, so like the whole book, you'd have like weird headaches and then you'd have to sleep, but you were actually killing people and you knew you were the whole time. So that was like the plot twist of that book. Really good book, by the way. I don't, I don't want to say who it's by because I don't want to ruin obviously the whole book for somebody, but that book reminds me of this a lot where I'm thinking that maybe I did it. <laughs> My character did it because apparently I'm walking around doing things I don't remember. So maybe possibly. Jeez, who are we going to pick? Nathan. No. Not Nathan. Not Mariana. Maybe Jaya. <laughs> it's, a, it's an Agatha Christie book. My One of my favorite writers of all time. She does murder mysteries, so it's one of her old books, but she has like She's got to have almost, like, 50 of them. But they're all super good. Really good murder mystery books if you like reading that sort of thing. Ellen still gives you the willies. Or Aline. I always pronounce her name wrong. Okay. Hmm. What do you think, Sausage? I know you weren't here for the entire thing, but looking at our list now of reasons... Are you leaning towards anything? Because I think I've covered all the reasons why somebody might want to kill Decker. Yeah, Jaya seems like... But that seems a little bit obvious, doesn't it? It's always like the assistant that does it. But maybe I'm overthinking it. Like, I'm going too meta. <laughs> but yeah, Jaya knew Decker, Decker was going insane. Knew that he drank. She just knew everything about this guy. So it'd be easy to kill him. And she has the key to the office. Like she said at the beginning, she would be. it would be easy for her to get in. It would be easy for her to get in. Bryce always says how evil Decker is. And Decker gave Bryce his ability, so Bryce could always, like, go turn around and kill him. And supposedly he can teleport, which is a big thing. Let me write that down. Supposedly can teleport. Hold on, let me go back to Bryce's. The thing that's following me, it doesn't have a face. I saw it close up when it was standing over me. It has no face, no eyes, no mouth, no nothing. Inside its hood is just space. Yeah, easy to just blame the crazies. Hole. That's true. Yeah, maybe I'm just overthinking it. But yeah, Jaya does have a lot of reasons why she wouldn't, she wouldn't want Decker to be around anymore. Oh yeah, Mariana told us that Ellen, Aline, my goodness, that Aline was on the pier that night. And then she also has another story, which is really weird, <laughs> that she seems to have two stories, that she was on a date on the pier, and then she also said that night that she was dating one of her patients because she shapeshifted for him. But I mean, like, you could do different things in the same night. It seems like more likely that she did the date earlier during the day. And then it says her taxi taxi ride was at, like, 11. She got picked up from the pier at 11. He was killed, or found killed at 10.20. That's a big thing. She, he could have been killed between 8 and 10, I believe. Let me look at the clues really quick. Um, yeah. Um, it says estimated from liver temperature measurements to be between 8.30 and 10.30. So it could have happened earlier. So... Just because she, Aline was at the beach doesn't make her exempt. So she was at the beach, but then she was also with Max. If only I could talk to Max, but whatever. That would um, give her an alibi for, you know, 8.30 to 10 then, let's say. Yeah, 10.20 is when the the clean cleaning guy found him dead at his desk. And that's when he looked down at his watch, supposedly, right when he found the body. And he's like, oh, it's 1020. He called the police and then the police showed up. Um, but yeah, it does say in that report that we just looked at that he could have been killed at 1030. That's the latest he could have been killed. So 
it doesn't give me the option to, you know, say that the cleaning guy did it. <laughs> so it's probably not him, but that is a little bit weird. Hmm. Who's Ben again? Ben. I don't know what... Yeah. Oh, let me type in a hint. You never met Dr. Decker. He could make the craziest things sound true. And he showed me some of the notes he'd written. Wait, I think I've got one here. Oh. Oh, this is important. Yeah. See? Oh, hold on. We got another clue. Sarah Decker will die tomorrow and you will help her through it. He sounds like such a dick. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to say it. Decker is crazy and he sounds horrible. Ben is the cleaning guy. Oh, yep. Okay, now I remember. Yeah, maybe we asked Jai about it. <sighs> this stuff makes it seem like... This note makes it seem like Aline <sighs> could have killed him. But I mean, we kind of already knew that. We already knew that Decker told her that she would help... You know, Sarah threw her death because Decker didn't want to be there for his own mom. I don't... Hmm. Oh. How are you going to stop me from going crazy? Holiday, perhaps? Some R&R? &R? I suppose you were thinking something darker? <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything else? Is there anything else that he signed? Okay, so it is the same exact signature. That can't be denied. And then he wanted to resign, which is weird. Three days before. Three days before he got killed, he wanted to resign. That's something we haven't really talked about that much. Hmm. Ooh, you bother me. Why do I bother you? Do you think I killed Dr. Decker? You need to look deeper into your other patients. I can forgive a lot of things, but being falsely accused of murder, well, that's gonna blemish your CV. Hmm. Yeah, so... Bryce is the one who took Decker's body out of his his coffin. That's what he ended up telling us anyways. So Bryce Bryce took his Decker's body out of the coffin because he wanted to like do something with the body. Bryce hates Decker, so I feel like he wanted to get back at him in the end. Yeah, he stole it and then the body went missing. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna have to decide. I'm just kind of waiting for like the hints to roll in. Because of what happened to my mother, I believe people could change the world with their minds. I think it's dangerous to have that ability. And I think that you and me, we're helping people rid themselves of these dangerous thoughts. See, she's very, and a whole she load wants of other to rid them. At the same time. Of their people pretend to believe and they have a different agenda they're the ones you need to watch out for they have boundaries and they are prepared to break them yeah it sounds like dr decker was becoming the type of person that jaya can't support he wanted to resign though 
why couldn't like Jaya just let the re the the problem with saying Jaya is the murderer is that Jaya ended up getting what she got what she wanted in the end. He he was going to resign, which seems like you know what she would want entirely. Maybe she forced him to want to resign, but I don't see the point. If he doesn't work here anymore, how could he still affect Jaya? Bryce stole his body, then went missing. But do you, do you see what I mean? That kind of... Jaya... He, Decker was already going to, to quit, though. Yeah. Yeah, and that no one else could fix them, but she wanted him to take their powers, not resign. And he was just gonna leave leave them to whoever, which was me. And she was like angry at him for it, that she was just gonna that Decker was just gonna leave everybody behind. Yeah. You try to make people believe that he was the opposite. But that would give patience more motive than her. Okay. Hmm. hmm. But why would she kill Decker if he was going to resign? He'd be gone either way. What's what's the benefit for her if he if he dies? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. If that, I think I'm missing something with what you're with what you're um, saying, Kaiden. I don't really understand. I thought it was dry at first, and then I realized that he was going to resign. He also thought he was going to die. You ask a lot of good questions. <laughs> All right, let me get another hint for Jaya. I once spoke to a patient here who claimed to be able to teach me how to get inside other people's dreams, but how would you know if that worked? Have you had any strange dreams lately, Doctor? I'm gonna say yes, I had I've had strange dreams. Hmm. The ocean dream? Should you be asking me that, Doctor? Ocean, I'm just like screaming I think it. You know what I'm going to say. Hmm. That's not real. If only I could ask all the questions I wanted to ask. <laughs> all right. Giant thinks I might be going insane. I, I do want to say, say Jaya just because it, it does seem like the patients are all sub suspects, but Jaya isn't. Oh, 18 plus year. Yep. <laughs> Gotta put that 18 plus in the title, though. Um... Who murdered Dr. Decker? That is the question that is on everybody's mind. <sighs> She's going to freak out if I say her. 
but I just I just want to see what happens. All right. Doctor, we've had a bad day, haven't we? If you think I'm guilty, then one of your patients must have you just where they want you. I'll forget this indiscretion and go and put the kettle on. And perhaps you can have a lie down or something. Oh, what? Can I just tell you that it's you again? Oh, what the heck? Oh, I, it like gets rid of her. Isn't that weird? Is it like keeping me from getting the wrong answer? That is, that's weird. Okay, so I can't pick Jaya. The game has stopped me from, from accusing her. Huh. Yeah, no game over, I guess. It's weird that the game's completely silent, though. I don't hear any music. Creepy. Are you stuck? Do you want me to ask? Your memory is exactly that. Or maybe it'll give me one chance. Your memory. If people are telling you things you don't remember, then they're probably making them up. Deep down, only you know. Yeah, it's like completely silent now. Hmm. At midnight. David, this. you rang my... Hmm. Okay. Is there any other hints for her? No. The music came back, at least. <laughs> that makes me feel a little bit better. I've never been so excited to hear that creepy, ominous music in the background. <laughs> Because no music is even worse. Okay, so it's not Jaya, I guess. According to her, whatever. Um, <laughs> so if I can't pick Jaya, I might as well pick maybe Bryce. Bryce or Aline is who I'm leaning towards now. You're voting Bryce and you're voting Aline. Okay. Yeah, it's like half and half to me. I mean, Aline is weird. I, I get that, but she stole the prescription pad to stop him from manipulating her. I feel like that's the extent that she can go to. Yeah, I know you never liked Ellen or Aline. My goodness. Um, But Bryce has so many things that he has against Decker. He already thinks Decker is evil. He spied on Decker. And so let's say he, he let's say Bryce did kill Decker. Bryce kills Decker. Decker knows that Bryce is going to kill him. He asks what's her name? Claire to bring him back to life. Claire doesn't cuz Claire doesn't like Decker either. Uh Bryce is there at his funeral. Doesn't bury Decker. Maybe wants to do something else with him. Hmm. How did you know Mariana could breathe underwater? I spot check the sessions. I know, I know I shouldn't, but it's for the safety of everyone. Checks and balances, remember? All right, that's all the questions for Jaya. Yeah, if I ever get stabbed, it's probably the creepy dude who spies on me. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, yeah, I mean, if Dr. Decker thought anyone was going to kill him, it was probably Bryce. Let's ask... Let's ask Mariana one more question. I've done lots of dancing, lots of clubbing, lots of socializing. That's 
just not. I don't know about that. You'll have to ask. I don't. I. Yeah, I want her to mention Nathan to some capacity because I set them up in the first place and only Nathan's talking about Mariana. So I'm wondering if it's in this timeline that he actually did it or not. Or went out with her. Apparently she helps him, you know, continue going through the days. Which is nice because he's not thinking about Hannah as much. Yeah, Bryce, man. Bryce, why you have to be so weird, man? You're making me think you murdered him. All right. All right. I'm going to pick Bryce. Dr. Decker deserved to die. I'm not saying I did such a thing. Not something that I would confess to now whilst being recorded. But I'm happy to reaffirm that his death was necessary. Well, more than death, really. If I only knew where his body had gone. Now I can't be sure. I can't be sure that he's absolutely dead. The girl, chained in his basement. Iris, mm hmm She'd most definitely have killed him, giving half the chance. I suppose, if I teleported Here. into yep. his office one night to write myself a prescription you teleport and, and had run him. into Dr. Decker himself, that I might have killed him then and there with the nearest available weapon. And in doing so, would be accoladed as the hero. Not the villain that you're making me out to be. But we shall see, Doctor. We shall see. I don't like getting on Bryce's bad side. Good luck catching a man who can teleport when he wants to, though. Or maybe you don't think that I can. He's freaking me out. <gasps> he teleported. <laughs> Did I? Did I catch the killer? Oh, well, I'm probably going to die. We all know that. I don't want to see it, though. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. <laughs> Einstein. Thanks, Einstein. You calling me insane? I found so the killer. So I've got killing. a new dog. A basset hound. She's got these big floppy ears and a really sad face. Oh, you know, neither. even sadder than I look. Ginger. I call her Ginger. She's a rescue. Oh. But since I've had Ginger... I've never looked back. Literally. Not one day. Aww. I'm not really sure what you'd call it. Um, mutually assured delusions? I think Dr. Decker was projecting his weird fantasies on me. And it was just going to be easier to go along with it. To participate. I feel much better now I know I didn't hurt anyone. I didn't hurt anyone. Did I? Nope, you're insane, girl. It looks Don't like worry Terry about it. Be coming back. She hasn't been in for a while, and oh. I thought she just had a bug or something, but from what I've heard, it's not good. Apparently, she's in intensive care, and they can't figure out what's wrong with her. Well, I'm not going to lie. She's Works happy about it. much easier without her watching over me. Does that make me a horrible person? I suppose in hindsight, it was self-defense all along. It hadn't occurred to me that I was just defending myself when I stabbed him. Ha! Huh. It probably just took the right lawyer to help wait. me see it that oh, way. Oh, wait, defending yourself? Wait a I'm second. I'm happy I'm no, free, obviously. Weren't. Who wouldn't be? Oh, my gosh. There's just one small problem, Doctor. I thought she was saying my something husband. else. He's still alive. Ah, you must be the new Doctor. And punctual, I see. I like that in a doctor. I think you're going to fit in just great around here. Oh, I forgot. I have a book for you. It's my must read of all time. And by must read, I mean you must read it.
The curse continues at Dr. Decker's psychiatry practice where another physician has been murdered by a patient. Oh, that was me? Found by night cleaning staff, Dr. Decker's replacement oh, okay. was pinned to the chair with a paper spike. Oh. And what police are describing as a copycat I got killed murder. again. I already knew I was going to get killed. Jaya, Jaya, Jaya. You're supposed to be looking after them. How many more do we have to go through before you get a good one? So what, did Jay actually do it? And the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. Huh. Oh man. I don't know how to feel about this ending, you guys. It's just very... Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I, we thought that Jaya did it right away. Did she really do it? Second time lucky. Hit me, baby, one more time. Is that because I died? <laughs> oh, you scared me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sausage, for the cheer. I appreciate it. Doctor, you're doing great. That's a lot of questions. Wow. Responses found. 140 out of 151. Wow. Huh. I guess that's the end of it, huh? Yeah, that was that was a fun game. A lot of thinking towards the end there. I wonder if any of the patients I would have picked, besides, you know, Jaya isn't a patient, but I wonder if any of the patients I would have picked would have led to them confessing to it. You know what I mean? Like, are they that sick that if I really, like, thought that they did it, they actually did? Yeah, you... Yeah. And now I'm, like, second-guessing myself, right? But I'll have to re replay through the whole game to find out. So I think I might just, like, look up YouTube videos and see if there's actually other things. But, yeah, I think after everything was said and done, Bryce, he could teleport so he could be there at the exact same time. I was killed after all, so maybe there is, like, if I redid it, there is a way for me not to have been killed. <laughs> that would be nice. And then I could, like, tell them that their powers weren't real and stuff like that. Maybe that would change the outcome somewhat. Hmm. Going to YouTube the ending. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm sure there must be multiple endings, right? I don't know. Anyways, that was a, that was a really good game. Really makes you think about things. But, yeah, I'm... I mean, even the ending that I got, it makes sense that Bryce is the killer. And also, it does make sense that he teleport and kill me. But it's weird what they said at the end about Jaya, right? With Enderby and all that. With Enderby talking to Jaya and Jaya saying, or Enderby telling Jaya that he, like, you know, waiting until they get a good doctor. But it could be just them being aware of the situation, too. It doesn't necessarily implicate Jaya. It could just be like, you know, they're both trying to find a good doctor where the patients don't want to kill the doctor. Hmm. Yeah, it's very interesting. It said I found the killer, though. Which made me feel really good. Because <laughs> I'm very horrible at mysteries. Anyways, I think I'm going to call the stream right here. I'm, I'm going to look for different endings myself on YouTube. There are different endings. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, we found, like, all of the responses. I don't think I could play through the game again. <laughs> Even the jump scares. I know they'll scare, scare me the second time around. So I think myself, um, usually I'm the type of person that I only can play a game one one time through because then I already kind of know the story. Um, yeah, but I mean, according to this, we almost got, like, all of the responses you could have gotten in the game. I feel like the multiple endings could at that point be like what you've been telling the patients the whole time if you believe in their powers or not. And then on top of that, who you end up cooking at the end. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it a stream. I'm going to get something to eat for lunch because I am hungry. And I'm probably myself going to look up some of the endings on YouTube. But I hope you guys enjoyed me playing through the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. I really enjoyed myself. I think the acting was great by all the actors and actresses. Really gave me like goosebumps a lot of the times. 
And I just like really like the story in general. I was thinking about it like last night when, after I stopped streaming. And I think that's like a, the hallmark of a really good game is when you think about it after it's done. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to find a game to play after this one. Um, I don't have too much extra money, so I'm probably not gonna be buying a, a new game off of Steam. But I do have some games in my Steam library I haven't fully um, played yet, played through yet. So maybe I'll just uh, grab one of those and we can play that. It's probably not going to be a murder mystery, though. It's probably just going to be a completely different genre because I don't have any other murder mysteries on my Steam page as of right now. Um, I would play The Shapeshifting Detective. I don't know how much it is, though. I'm kind of on, like, a money crunch right now because I'm starting school pretty soon and I realized how expensive it was. Um, but, yeah, I'm probably just going to play a different type of game. Um, maybe I'll do, like, a Twitter poll or something about it. But anyways, I'm rambling now, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and thank you so much for watching. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>